This is just a uh, quick video and uh, it's about this horrible story that was in the news recently. Um, and it was an incident that happened down in Florida and a dad accidentally shot his 14 year old son. And um, it, it's a devastating tragedy and it's a sad occurrence uh, what happened and I feel horrible for the boy and I feel horrible for the father even though in my opinion the father was definitely negligent. Um, when it comes to firearms, you're not allowed to make mistakes. And um, unfortunately, I see this stuff a lot because I shoot a lot at a lot of different ranges and, and, I, and I see a lot of stuff and uh, it really drives me crazy. Um, evidently what happened with this situation was uh, the father wanted his son to be, you know, around firearms, get used to guns and so forth, which as parents, many of us do. You know, I've had, you know, guns my whole life and my kids uh, know how to operate them and they've been around them. They're not, they're not afraid of them. And, you know, but the bottom line is it's great to teach your, your loved ones and sons and daughters how to shoot. But what's the matter with people that uh, they they just, I don't know, sometimes they leave their brains home when they go to a gun range. I've seen what happened here several times in my life. And basically what happened was the, the guy had a, uh, a gun, and I'm going to just zoom out for a second. He had a, uh, a Ruger SR-22, which is uh, what I have right here. And this is the gun that they were using. And I have snap caps in this gun. They're plastic snap caps, uh, Tipton snap caps. And what had happened was, um, if anyone knows how to use this gun, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a double action, single action. So when you rack the slide on the gun, if, if the safety is off like it is now, and uh, the hammer is cocked back, which means your, your first shot is going to be a double action if you decock it and then put the safety back on. But once you take the first shot, let's get rid of that empty uh, snapped cap. Uh, after you take your first shot, your, your gun is now in single action. So what does that mean? It means that it's a really light trigger pull. You can see the hammer is back. It's ready to be fired. And as you can see, it takes no effort whatsoever. We'll do it again. So each subsequent round, it's going to keep that hammer back. The problem that happened was this father was shooting this gun and it was in this stage and uh, a shell casing from the 22 shot down his back and he, I don't know, he reached back somehow while his finger was still on the trigger and he must have, you know, been jumping around like a crazy person because I guess this hot shell casing was so disturbing to him and as he reached back he went like that and he shot his son and I think he hit him in the neck in a juggler vein with the 22 and unfortunately it was all over but here's my point and why I'm making this video is because I've seen similar things happen not not a death at the range but I've seen people um, wearing very light clothing, sometimes ladies wearing very skimpy attire when they're shooting and shell casings going down the front of their shirt and all hell basically breaks loose after that. You know, the shell casing goes down and, you know, they jump and flail all over the place because, you know, it burns. But, you know, let's not forget, we're shooting damn guns here. These aren't toys, so, you know, dress appropriately. Uh, cover up your skin and more importantly I don't know uh, figure out what you're doing and it's not gonna kill you it's a shell casing it's hot it's not even gonna leave a leave a leave a mark on you if it does and you're, and you're so sensitive maybe this isn't the sport for you if a, if a little bit of a heat from an empty brass shell casing is gonna make you flail around like a like a jerk um, you know, especially if you have a loaded gun in your hand, that, you know, I don't know, try something else. Go play the piano or something. I don't, I don't know. It, I'm not making light of this. It's a horrible, horrible tragedy. And this father is going to be haunted for the rest of his life. And any parent out there knows something like this it is possibly the, the worst nightmare. It's not possibly, definitely the worst nightmare any parent could ever live through. Bottom line is follow safety rules and 
keep the gun pointed downrange, keep your friggin' finger off the trigger until the gun is on target, and, and don't wave the gun all over the place. I can't tell you how many times I've been muzzled at a gun range, and I make a big deal about it. And, and that's the other point I wanted to cover in this video. Make a big deal. If someone muzzles you or someone does something stupid like that, even if they're three or four bays away from you and, and you see that they're all, you know, upset because a shell curse casing burnt them a little bit and they're going like this and waving all over the place with, with, with the loaded gun, wait until the gun is, you know, pointed safely and, and confront the person because I do. I, I, I don't need to go to a gun range and get shot by a moron or or more so... If I have a loved one with me, which many times I take my wife, my kids, this and that, then I'm super vigilant. I mean, times a thousand. Like, if you act anywhere like a moron when I'm at that gun range with my family, I'm getting you the hell out of there. One way or another, you're out. I I'm not going to let you dictate, uh, you know, whether my life or my family's life goes on or not from that point. It's not your decision. And if you can't behave properly... Uh, you got to get out of there. And it's that simple. So if the gun range doesn't take appropriate action, then I guess you just have to leave or, or whatever. Uh, you know, take matters into your own hand. Not, I'm not advocating violence or nothing, but I'm saying uh, do whatever you got to do to, you know, stop someone from acting like a moron. Because we see new, new shooters many times. They're very excited. And I love when I take a new shooter to the range. And they're excited and their adrenaline is up and their, their chemicals are kicking in and they're, and they're really feeling good. Their endorphins are flowing because it's a fun sport. It's great, uh, you know, to shoot a gun. You have a controlled explosion in your hand. You're hitting the target. You're hitting the bullseye. It, it gets people really excited, but not so excited that, again, they go stupid and, and do horrible things because, as you see what happened here, th this could happen to anyone. But if the person you're taking is so skittish, maybe you need to find a, a closed range, pay a little bit extra money or something like that. Uh, you know, have, have some qualified person, you know, there with them and make sure there isn't any innocent bystanders around that, you know, if you feel they're going to be so upset at the sound of the gun or, or you know, a, a shell casing landing on their skin. I don't know. I mean, again, it's a gun. This shit happens. If, sorry to curse, but it, it, it does happen. And you know, it, it's just part of the game. And, and we've all had shell casings go down our backs and this and that. And I, I try to dress appropriately when I'm out of range and I don't have, you know, loose collars and stuff because it's not fun. But guess what? You suck it up and you continue shooting and that's it. When you do an IDPA, many times shell casings will hit you all over the place. They'll, they'll go up your sleeve here, there, whatever. You, you just continue, get out of your mind and move forward. So I, I don't, I'm not making light about this. It's a horrible tragedy what happens. I feel horrible for this family. At least the father, uh, you know, said that the gun didn't kill my boy. I did. And it's a horrible thing for any dad to have to say that sentence. But he's not blaming it on the gun. He's taking responsibility. So, you know, that's the only positive thing from this, uh, you know. But I don't know. Be careful at the gun range. And the main point of this rambling, uh, point of this rambling video is if you see something that's not right, you see someone that's not behaving appropriately at a gun range, stop it. It's that simple. Because you, you don't want a tragedy to occur, even if it's not to you, if it's someone else, and say, gee, I, I could have stopped that. I did see that guy, you know, acting like a jerk or whatever. So if you see something, say something is what they say in New York. Uh, with what's going on lately so all right so just a quick video i hate to do things on this subject but this really uh, really upset me all right take care